In January of 1934, the Los Angeles Times reported a story about a mining engineer who had been testing for mineral deposits when he came across a pattern of underground tunnels in the shape of a lizard. The engineer located what he believed to be a large cache of gold tablets. The shaft was flooded with water and the city closed down the project before the engineer could bring his find into the light of day. But some believe these tablets told the history of the underground Mayan lizard people. Reptilians come to Earth to infiltrate the human race. Reptilians or reptoids are said to be races of intelligent creatures which come from extraterrestrial worlds or parallel dimensions. They live primarily underground or in caves and tunnels, that sort of thing. A common appearance described in the encounter literature is of a being six to seven feet tall that walks upright like a human being, but probably has a reptilian head, reptilian eyes, and scaly skin, like a lizard skin. The reptilian is not one of the alien types that's thought to be warm and cuddly, but is more sinister, more beastly, if you will. They seem to have great shape-shifting abilities, and we can speculate that they could take on any form through various means in order to disguise themselves. Reptilians have uh, nothing on their minds so much as a worldwide conspiracy to take over the planet. Reptilians could have the same abilities as natural reptiles. Reptiles have specialized adaptations for living underground. They have uh, sensory cells in their eyes that allow them to see very well at night. Um, they can be very aggressive predators from the large lizards, and there's a group of lizards called the varanid lizards, and that would include the Komodo dragon. These are predators that display an ambush style of prey capture. Once it gets a grasp on a prey item, it doesn't need venom, it doesn't need constriction, it's just not going to let go. 500 years of modern astronomy has taught us that the universe is not only enormous, with 10,000 billion billion stars that we can see in an, an even larger number of planets, but it's all made of the same stuff. The real estate out there in space is pretty much like the real estate right here on Earth. So if there's life here, well, why wouldn't there be life there? Physicist Stephen Hawking points out that every time a more advanced society meets a less advanced society, it usually doesn't work out so well for the less advanced society. And so he figures maybe we shouldn't have any contact with aliens because it might not work out well for us. <laughs>